Put your arm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. Oh, man. I, uh, uh. Okay, everybody, it's Master Wong here. I've been talking to John back again. Last time you come in, in and you're asking out about where is Dr. John? Here he is. And today, some of you are asking, asking about a lot of time we do the Tai Chi movement and stuff like that, and you're talking about the palm how powerful that that is so i think dr john back and he doing some form of tai chi before and he can talk to you a little bit about it and sh share some uh palm training with you so you know dr john a lot of people are asking said tai chi bloody no use okay it's, it's, it's rubbish so there are martial arts splits into three main categories you've got fighting health and performance and at some point in our martial arts careers we've done all three now what you see tends to be the tai chi that you see tends to be for health now when you're doing the performance sometimes they go lower in the stanzas now when you're doing tai chi for fighting it is a different entity in itself okay at the end of the day it is how you apply it okay you have to stay relaxed now when it comes to actually using tai chi okay now of course it's it helps to if you can do a palm stroke it helps to have strong palms. For instance, I do a lot of press-ups, you, know, you can do a lot of conditioning drills from this, one, this one, like you've seen us do before. Mm -hmm. okay. So that way, okay, now it, because I don't want to have an unconditioned hand while I do this and nothing mm -hmm. happens, okay. So when Master Wong, he, he grabs me here. Now, I'm still using my hips to twist onto that palm strike. Now, if he pushes me, okay, I don't want to go backwards, I want to twist with mm -hmm. that. Okay? It's there. So. I'm using that force against him, okay? And that is something that's very useful because if he just pushes me back, okay, look, this is not where I want to be, mm -hmm. okay? Now from here, ah. straight in. And this is, this palm is landing here. Yeah, against the it's, it's a completely different kind of, uh, 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 of movement though. That's, that's the thing. When I'm here, your waist, mm -hmm. your, see? See, everything, like waist, yeah, absolutely. whole body, and that's it. And Zaha is hurt, but then, now the problem uh, is a lot of people asking, a lot of time in Tai Chi, you fighting in that competition news, it's very difficult to use. You know the woman, uh, the UFC fighter, the, Ch the Chinese one? Who, uh, yeah, 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 she do a lot of Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. But when you go into combat, you're using aspect yes. of the Tai Chi. Absolutely. So can you tell them what the aspect, what does that one stand, what the hell are you talking about? Right, so it is, an element of yielding okay so it's not force against force mm -hmm. it's not like this we're pushing against each other mm -hmm. okay so from here if if i'm because I'm, I'm so much heavier okay for instance as i'm coming towards you all master Wong has to do is twist his hips and i'm off balance mm -hmm. okay so it's application of that you know and it's using the principles and not just the set routines when you see the tai chi movement and everything you know Whilst that's you practicing the form, you want to seek the formless, okay? So you're using the principles of the style and not the exact sequences of that. Because, you know, it's like um, if I'm going to do some Tai Chi here, you know, from here, okay. Now, what happens if this guy's behind me, you know, now it looks silly. So you need to be sensible with how you practice it, okay? Now, you also have to stay very relaxed, okay? Relaxing is very important. Now, because it's like um, if I try Tai Chi very... Tense, okay, it looks terrible, mm -hmm. and I feel terrible. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn how to breathe, okay? Learn how to breathe, learn how to flow, okay? Now, a lot of the comments that I'm seeing in the YouTube section, you know, um, of Master Wong's video said, oh, that John seems like a really nice, chill guy. I am, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. So, you know, there's no tension here. You know, I'm nice and relaxed. So as soon as he grabs me, it's there, it's there. okay? Now, with relaxation comes the speed okay don't worry about the speed that'll come that comes through the relaxation okay and comes with a shock power now if they are wearing body armor like they would back in ancient china when they had this okay you know you can't if i'm doing this uh, 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 i'm gonna hurt myself okay so having palms okay you can literally lift your palm, you know, fingers up okay and it's penetrative so it goes through mm -hmm. it goes through so master one puts his hand in and then boom okay you see that even if i have armor on okay that's 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 a, that's a very different kind of movement uh, when you start to use it. That's why a lot of time in Tai Chi, it's not like you're fighting like you're using that way. You're fighting in a very different way. More for to what I say, um, the idea of concept of it to in a combat as a, as a fighter, as you're grappling. Okay, and then you're using a self-defense more because you already contact the person. Self-defense is here, and he just got to, that's it. So that's very different. 
do when we fight like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you fight like this, that kind of movement you are be using mm. is not applicable. Yeah. But it can be used by waist, yes. hip, body. So just still can use in the same uh, way, but a principle of it in the Tai Chi. That's what unique about Tai Chi. Mm. Now many people turn around and say, yeah, but in China, many many people do Tai Chi and get beat up. Yeah. How the hell are you going to be able to answer that question? Okay, so I will say this about all martial arts here. Every technique, every sequence, every routine that you practice has its place. You just need to be the right, the best judge to deploy those movements, okay? So everything, it's like a, clo uh, a broken clock still tells the right time twice a day. You need to pick the right time to deploy that, okay? Now I see a lot of people, traditional martial artists, who will try to use the, the hero movements, mm -hmm. okay, the, the very elaborate, nice movements to win a fight. You it know, don't work. No, 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 because you're planning it, and by the time you're thinking, it's too late. That's right. Okay. So you are already anxious and thinking, right, I really want to land this palm strike, okay? So all it is is you just have to relax, and when, it, when you see the opportunity to do it, you, you go for it. You can't think. It's got to be there. And I think that's another thing that's quite interesting that Dr. John said, you know, because he's training a lot of traditional stuff. But this doesn't mean that he bring the traditional stuff into a street fight, okay? Because he can't bring the gun fight to the goddamn bloody knife fight. It's a two different thing. Absolutely. So you're deploying what you need in that moment because nobody will stand there for you to do palm. No, no. Fighting now. Hold, Hold on. on. There we go. Palm. It's yeah. not going to happen like this. No, 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 no. Okay? If I swing at him and then here, boom. It just happens to be there. It just happened. And he body in that position. Oh. But if he body already locked here, yeah. palm now, it's no bloody news. Got enough, but not in powerful enough. But if I'm here, if he body here, ah, so, that yeah. is a different. Now, when I do security, okay, now you might be a lot of guys trying to wrestle you and everything, okay, you need to yield. You mm -hmm. know? Because if, if, I, if it's one against one, fine. Mm -hmm. Two against one, uh, maybe three against one. Now I'm really pushing it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five guys, okay, or maybe whatever. Now you don't want to be one force against all of those things. You want to use that as uh, use their energy as much as you need to use that momentum. So that is when s softer styles have a lot more application. Okay, so it's using the principles of those styles and not always the exact movements that you're trying to pull off. So it is up to you to be the best judge of when to deploy those movements. The Tai Chi they have the word called Seilung Put Tin Gun. What's that mean in English? Oh, Seilung Put Tin Gun. Mm. Four ounces can move one ton. Oh, yeah. What does that really mean to you? Meaning it's very good for moving the person from one plate in, uh, on, uh, uh, in a one plate to somewhere else using four ounces. And what that really mean is about diversity. Mm. Diversity, not like weight again, yeah. weight, but diversity. Right. Moving, controlling, and yielding, and learn to understand that. Now in the Tai Chi, it takes time to learn, and learn to become in a flow. Yeah. Because in Tai Chi, again, it's, it's not like um, uh, everybody can able to use it. Mm. And especially in combat, you have to train combat. Mm. Dr. John here training a lot of that, so when he's hitting, he covering. He learned all this. It's real. Mm. He learned the elbow. He learned this. <laughs> see? But the elbow can have element of Tai Chi. Yeah. Okay? So the elbow can be... Yeah. Yeah. Because he's using the same principle. Mm. But now it's the... Yeah. Uh, the elbow. So now the palm... What's the difference? It's the same. It's the, the pa so the delivery is the same. The package is different. That's it. Okay. So the same again. Bam. See? So it go back to the basic rule. The rule is how you use it, okay? How you use it, and you use it in a completely different way, and the time mm -hmm. and the place for everything for you to use. So hopefully that will answer a lot of questions that you might get curious about. And if you want to start with a Tai Chi training, you can start with a health Tai Chi first. Get your health good first. If your health not good, it doesn't really matter what is it. And then you watch the progress on and learn a little bit of self defense, learn a bit of a uh, 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 movement that can able to defend yourself. Apply Tai Chi afterward, you know? Is that right? Yeah. If you haven't been to my website yet, this is the Master Wong official website. This website here will provide you with all the information onto the training, instructor, program and everything else. And you come down here, you see this button, click on it. If you want to ask me anything, this message will send instant message direct to me and I will be here to answer all the questions you need. 
you watching this video here, me and my brother, Dr. John here, and you know you love it. So me and my brother here doing the program called Waking the Warrior. So you go on top here, click on Waking the Warrior. And when you go in to Waking the Warrior, I will have a lot more people coming up. At the moment, I have Dr. John and my brother here as well, dynamic-ish, okay? So listen to what lipid we're talking about and then click on here with Dr. John. Click on here to learn more, to read more. On here, we're pre-launching this at the moment for the seven-day challenge, okay? For the self-defense seven-day challenge. So all you want to do, all you need to do is put your email into here and I will update you we will update you more about it so what the seven day challenge is is helping you to getting understanding a lot of really what's going on and also get you to know yourself a little bit more of the environment and the thing happen all over the world after when you've done the seven day challenge you got all the information that you need and then we invite you back for the zoom call after when you done the zoom call then you uh, then it's easier for you to do a seminar with us when we hold a seminar okay and that's what it's all about so here is the seven day challenge put your email into here and then you can start to get information that we sent to you so you know exactly what to do when the seven day challenge start okay then master wong here take some time to go into the website have a look around and i will see you in to one of the seven day challenge and then we will go from there now get your ass back to training I, I and otherwise it's very difficult to mm -hmm. using tai chi to hold on yeah you know it's like <laughs> flower arrangement like that it's not gonna happen when there's somebody fighting and then you move 100 mile power and mm -hmm. you go hold on man you still here yeah <laughs> and you see people doing this and you think what the hell are you doing let me you tell know? you let me tell you a little story so um a few years ago well okay 2007 i was in hong kong uh, in kowloon park and i got floored by a tai chi man he was 70 years old mm -hmm. and he said to me uh, he, he was amazing he was practicing slowly okay so that his body would you know he was very grounded he got the postures all right and he would practice quickly so that he could acclimatize himself to a real life situation so when he moved quickly he moved very quickly and I couldn't get near him and it was a palm strike when I came in for a hook and it was just boom and it really hurt so it is legit and that's what is it got to spend some to work or to practice and some of you asking me about Master Wong when you're gonna do collaboration with Dr. John to seminar it's and this is it it's that's what is it so that's why you come over here to see me and then we work together with this to this project this project is for anti-bullying helping people but also something unique about this seminar this seminar we're going to combining the storytelling of the book that i've written and dr john write his book as well combining the technique movement and also reality in the in a, such a way that you learn in the real life but you learn about a lot to do with uh, mindset, the principles, so you can apply to everyday life, okay? And that's what it is. So Dr. John, tell them a little bit about it. Yes, so, you know, it's gonna start with a seven day challenge that we will invite you to take part in. Now, that seven day challenge will allow us to see where you are in your progress, your development. Then you can have a Zoom call with us and we can get to know you better, better as well. And finally, when we come to um, you booking the seminar with us, okay, we'll be able to work with you a lot more closely and you will get the most out of it from the both of us. So that's perfect. And if you're not follow Dr. John yet, check him out in the Instagrams and uh, uh, social media like Facebook and stuff like that. And all the information behind here. And some of you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do. Otherwise your enemy will be half in the... Big problem. Ow!